Hey everyone, it's even bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. Last time we defeated everyone on that route up there and defeat Erica, whatever. In this episode, we're going to take on Misty. She's a... Oh, you can't be serious. Mate, let me finish. Mate, what is this? you got to be kidding me. <coughs> Sorry, it's getting a bit of a sore throat here. Alright, first up we have Horsey. It's level 43. Horsey is a pure water type. Horsey evolves into Seedra, which then evolves into Kingdra via the King's Rock um, and trading it. So, Kingdra is an absolute beast of a Pokemon. I love Kingdra with a passion, man. Alright, next up, Seedra. Obviously, the evolved form of Horsey. Pretty good Pokemon. I love Seedra and Kingdra. I'm a really big fan of the Kingdra family. Or the Seedra, the uh, Horsey family, whatever. Twistar, the dragon type move of power of 40. Oh, jeez, my throat. Oh, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, they don't have a great special defense when they're not fully evolved. So yeah. Anyway, I virtually just rendered that fight pointless. All right, now um, there's a trainer up here. Ah, it's kind of difficult to dodge because he constantly like turns. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the boots off now because I don't really want running into him. So let's wait till he turns. Come on, turn! Turn! There we go. Now let's walk up. Oh, you ca- Oh, that hurt my throat. I'm never going to do that again. You can't be serious! Alright, fine. What do we got here? We have an Azumarill. Azumarill evolves from, uh, what's his name? Meryl. Uh, it's not that great. Um, its main feature is its HP and maybe a bit of defense, but all round it's probably a below average Pokemon. Yeah, see, that di one discharge just completely wiped it out. That wasn't much of a challenge at all. <laughs> all right, Tiffa goes to level 39, uh, 49, sorry. And I'm pretty sure this jerk coming down from there has just forced us to, like, surf. Yeah, screw you, buddy. Now I gotta hope because of this idiot up here, I gotta hope that I don't get caught by the other two trainers sitting in here too. They happen to be swimming in the pool. Alright, I have no idea how I did that, but I managed to skip the trainers. Anyway, Misty is up here being all, like, cool and everything or whatever. So let's take her on now. She is the leader of the Cerulean City Gym. She trains water-type Pokemon. So she's the water-type gym leader of Kanto. Um, she was probably better in... What's it called? Um, in... Oh, screw it. She's pretty good in this. She's not so bad anyway. First up is Golduck's level 49. Golduck is probably the, like, step up from Azumarill. It's not that much better except that Golduck can learn some psychic and ghost type moves and Azumarill can't. So if you're going to go for Golduck or, or Azumarill, definitely get a Golduck because their move their move pool is a lot better. Plus it's got a pretty good ability called Cloud9. Oh, don't use a full restore. I can't yell at you. My throat is too sore. Ah. Screw you, Misty. Yeah, at this rate, I doubt there'll be a video tomorrow. If I feel better, I'll probably do one, but don't expect one. So, But there'll probably be one the day after it. Just, I, I think I may need to have a day break or so, just to, a day break, can't get it. But yeah, I think I may need to have a, a day break or so, just to get rid of this sore throat, maybe get some antibiotics or something. All right, next up is Quagsire. It is a water, du uh, water, water ground type, sorry. So don't use um, electric type attacks on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use Slow Row because I don't have a Grass type, except Paris is a Grass type, but it's kind of pathetic, it's only on level 11 or something. Uh, Quagsire's level 49, it's got a pretty good attack and defense, it's a pretty bulky Pokemon, it's got the nice HP as well, but it's special defense and special attack are pretty lacking, so I wouldn't really want, I wouldn't really recommend this Pokemon, plus, uh, uh I'll probably honestly prefer a Mamoswine over a Quagsire, Purely because Mamoswine's moveset's a lot better, and plus Ice Ground isn't a bad typing either. At least Ice Ground doesn't really have any times for weaknesses, whereas Quagsire gets owned by Grass-type. Alright, Earthquake shouldn't really be too much because of Slowbro's good defense. Yeah, that'll be just about right. Um, I'm expecting this to probably just survive. Ah, oh, she's going to use a potion now. I swear if she does, we're going to lose it, even though I can't. Just imagine me... Oh, she didn't use one! Oh, yes! This is such a bonus. Not that it matters, I don't really think I'm going to be using Slowbro. In oh, crap! Oh, that hurt. Critical hits, jeez. 
Thank you for dying, Quagsire. Why couldn't you die earlier? Anyway, Slowbro goes to level 48. Yeah. Alright. Um, rain's still falling. This rain is annoying. It's using up all the time. Next up is Starmie. Starmie is a water psychic type. Crazy speed! And a crazy special attack. I honestly would not not mind having a Starmie on my team. Um, I used to use Starmie back in the day. Um, really good moveset. Uh, they can learn some really good moves. And plus, a special attack is an absolute supporter of those moves as well. Ah, McAfee. Ah, oh, jeez. What did you do that for? Anyway, um, Umbreon. Yes! Good work, Umbreon. Alright. That's pretty much all it can do to us is... I think it has Water Pulse as well, but... I think, it, I think it's moves that is Psychic, Confuse Ray, Water Pulse, and Shadow Ball. I'm pretty sure that's his moveset. Um, not bad, not too bad of a moveset, I guess, but... Surf would have been so... Yes! Snap down, that's good. But Surf would have been such a better move. She's got to use the potion now, isn't she? Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not, because this Starmie has Citrus Berry. That's a bit of a... See, I honestly don't remember what... Oh, Ice Beam, isn't that wonderful? Ice Beam has a power of 95 and has a 10% chance of freezing you like all other Ice type moves. Um, see, I don't really remember the items at all these... Oh, you can't be serious! No, you can't be serious again! Aha! <laughs> but yeah, so um, as I was saying, I don't really remember what items the Pokemon had because I, in my actual real Soul Silver version, I didn't give them time to use items. Ha! Alright. More Ice Beam. Uh, she's trying to freeze me, I bet. Because she's not getting... She's, well... I suppose that Ice Beam will be doing more damage than Water Pulse would be, even with the same type of attack bonus. So, that's probably why she's using it. Stop using Ice Beam! And that should be the end of Starmie. Yeah! Well, uh, last up will be her Lapras. Lapras is a water ice type, really good Pokemon. It's got a pretty good type as well, or water ice, and it supports a lot of the same type of attack bonus moves, including Surf and Ice Beam. So that's good. Um, it's actually not too bad of a Pokemon. If you happen to be able to pick one of these up, I recommend them because they are quite handy. They. Oh no! Oh. Screw you, Misty. But one thing I've mainly noticed about the Pokemon that Misty has is that. Her Pokemon actually have pretty good move sets, so yeah. Well, they they have like a move, a pretty good move pool. Yeah, you woke up probably because you got cold. That was lame, but whatever. All right, discharge. Let's see if you can two hit KO for me. And also, you're gonna be able to do that. Yeah, as long as as we can survive whatever she uses next. Body slam, great. Don't you dare get paralyzed, Sifa. Yeah! Oh, what a win! 5 HP! Woo! Amazing! And... Yes! Good job, Tiffa! And that is the victory! Thank you very much! We will get the Cascade badge from you now! Thank you, Misty, for giving us the Cascade badge. And she will go ahead and give us our TMO3, which is... Water Pulse. Water Pulse has a power of 60 and has a chance of confusing you as well, so not too bad of a move. But still, Surf is better. Alright, let's get the hell out of this gym. Oh, why do you have to be blocking our way for? Now we've got to surf around you. Screw you, you stupid sailor. Idiot. Alright. At least, at least we don't have... Uh, at least we don't have to burst any of these trainers now because like after you beat the gym leader they're like scared of us <laughs> all right um okay let's leave this place so what we're going to do now is we're going to fly down to saffron city because from saffron city we're going to go to lavender town get the pokey flute and then make our way back to vermilion city where we will take on and possibly catch or defeat snorlax and make our way through Diglett's Cave and on to Pewter City next episode. So next time in Pokemon Soul Silver, let's hope we can get to Pewter City, alright? See you guys then! Come on, Noctowl flies to uh, uh, Saffron City. That'll be fantastic, alright? See you guys next time!